Hey everyone, Joel Hanser, and today we're in McDaniels, Kentucky. Yes, my first time in Kentucky going for my first food challenge win in Kentucky. He's very excited about that. Today we're here at Porgy's, Porgy's, and to do the Georgie Porgy Challenge. So this area is by, I believe it's called like Rough River? Or Red Rough River, something Rough River anyway. So this is kind of known to be a little bit of a tourist area, um, big lovely river, which looks absolutely epic. Um, people, I guess, say they're going to the lake and that's what we're doing. But here for this food challenge, uh, we are gonna have one hour to complete it. We do get the meal for free. It is a $55 price tag. What differentiates this place from anywhere else I've been before, they actually hand make the hot dogs. Yes, they actually legit hand make, put the, uh, fill the casings, smoke them themselves. So eight of their hot dogs, a big side of either their pulled pork or cheese, either fries or tater tots. And then you have a dessert sampler, which has funnel cakes, deep fried Oreos, and a deep fried banana. So it sounds really delicious. I'm so excited. Like I said, I've never had a handmade hot dog. And you have to wash it down with one of their house-made, yes, handmade sodas as well. So a 16 ounce soda. So basically a handmade hot dog, a handmade soda challenge, super cool. Should be a lot of fun. The challenge is undefeated. Um, they did have one gentleman prior, uh, like he got, got really, really close. And I will say he was uh, like very impressively close, just a couple bites away. But that, let's head on in, see what we can do. And ultimately let's go, uh, let's have some fun. Let's eat some food and I'm pumped. Let's go eat some hot dogs. All right, everybody, so here we are with the challenge. It is absolutely giant. And let's just say I end up going with two Georgie Porgy. Yes, so here in front of us, we have two Georgie Porgy challenges. And I have to give a huge ode to the restaurant. It is Father's Day today, and this whole restaurant was started for the restaurant owner's dad. And this challenge is named after the restaurant owner's dad. His name was George. We called him Georgie Porgy, so I have to give huge respect to that. So here in front of us, we have the large variety of hot dogs. Um, I do have to pick eight and eight. So here I have, uh, we have some BLT dogs, we have some slaw dogs, we have some sweet heat dogs, we have some Das Fett dogs, we have the barbecue dog. Yes, they smoke, not only their freaking hot dogs here, they smoke their own hot dogs, but they also smoke pulled pork. We have chili cheese dog, we have a PG&J dog, yes, peanut butter and jelly on a hot dog. We have a uh, spicy Hawaiian dog. We got like so, 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 so much. For the uh, side, I gotta choose tots or french fries. I chose tots for both. So I have a chili cheese tots right here. And then I have a loaded barbecue tots right here. Um, then for the desserts, yes, this is all included. So one and one. We have two deep fried Oreos. We have the funnel cake and we have their banana bites. There's a deep fried banana. So. Oh, and the two sodas. They make their own sodas here. So not only do they hand make the hot dogs, they hand make the sodas. This is their famous pear soda. Never had a pear soda. And this is a cherry Coke, because like, have them go around with the classic. So, that's about it. 60 minutes, let's get started. Total, $110 worth of food in front of us. I'm gonna need some luck, so please wish me that. But uh, I look so good, it smells delicious. So ultimately, let's get started here just momentarily. All right, we'll help me get started. Oh, and these are brioche buns as well. So, let's start with count of five, four, three, two, one, let's, let's eat. Mm. Hot damn! <laughs> Very tasty hot dog. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're here at Porgy's, yes, Porgy's in McDaniels, Kentucky. So about like an hour-ish south of Louisville. Um, yes, and comment down below, do you say Louisville or Louisville? I've heard both. I heard Louisville is kind of the more standard. So Louisville, Kentucky. So here we have actually two of their challenges. So I decided to double this challenge. The traditional challenge is eight of their hot dogs, plus the one pound side of either french fries or tater tots, plus the dessert sampler and one soda. So in fact, I ended up, because I doubled it, having 16 hot dogs, two pounds of, I went with both tots, I went one chili cheese, one barbecue, two dessert samplers, and then having to have two of their house-made sodas for the challenge. Yeah, this is the Josh Fat. I had the BLG, I had the uh, Sweet Heat, crazy. You can really taste the difference with that like handmade smoked hot dog. So the traditional challenge weighs about five and a half to six pounds, so hence we have two. 
course there is a little bit of variation in the weight um, only being from like the types of hot dogs you choose like some of the hot dogs have more flavors such as like you know the ones that had a whole bunch of coleslaw and a whole bunch of vegetables on them like the Das Fett probably weighed a little bit more than like the peanut butter and jelly dog which had peanut butter and jelly on the, the hot dog um, but besides that there were they literally weighed out the one pound portion of the tots which is awesome um, again you had the option of barbecue or chili cheese I went with one of each and then the dessert sampler you had deep fried Oreos you had funnel cakes um, you had like a deep fried banana so lots of lots of delicious items here and lots of diversity again what I found so amazing about all of this is they actually handmade their hot dogs again I've never ever ever been to a place ever ever in my life I've never even heard of a place that hand makes or makes their own hot dogs I've only ever seen a standardized commercialized hot dog use at a at a restaurant so for them to actually make their own hot dogs I think was so dang cool and uh, they tasted delicious barbecue dog This challenge itself, like again, the, the traditional challenge, I would say is about like an intermediate level. Um, the nice thing is you do have a full hour to complete it. Um, but that being said, it's still, like I said, over f like five and a half, five and a half to six pounds of food, um, which definitely is quite a lot. But if you have the capacity, the time limit is definitely giving in that sense. And like I said, at least everything was very, very delicious, which makes it oh so easy. That is a hearty chili. Very delicious. Same as that slaw. That is Georgie Poitier's own slaw recipe. And it's fantastic. So if you complete the challenge, you do get the $55 meal for free. Um, and then of course you get a sweet t-shirt as well. Whereas me, again, I doubled it. So I had the one hour to complete um, two of those. So it would have been like over $100 if I was to fail, but I was really hoping I wouldn't have to because everything tasted so good. Mm. This is a PB and J dog. It's sweet, smoky, and savory. Okay. How are we doing for time? Uh, four minutes. Okay. So probably about five minutes in. Very delicious. I'm gonna finish the one and we'll go to the other one. But loving it so far. Mmm. Oil. And funnel cake. I love funnel cake. So that's the first one. 554. Very delicious. I probably should have started on the soda first, but like I can't honestly I'm like I just I'm gonna talk a little bit more for this one because I can. But man, like I have never had a handmade hot dog before. But you can really taste the difference. <clears throat> Excuse me, absolutely fantastic. It is smoky, they're sweet, 
I can't wait for like the uh, the, bar the barbecue uh, loaded of fries here, but these are just like so delicious. I can't say no. It's fr it's freaking good. Let's put it that way. So let's start the second one. Oh, and deep fried Oreos. You've never had them. You definitely need some. But of course, they weren't just making the hot dogs here. They also made like the coleslaw, for example. And they, you know, again, were making their own sodas. So it's like such a cool, unique place. Um, it's kind of like a little bit of like a retro theme in a way, but yet the bathrooms are like pretty pop culture. Like ones is like Friends themed, like the show Friends. Um, so anyway, like the place is cool. The people were awesome. Um, definitely this is, I'd say, the best place to eat at all in the area. It's a super like um, beachy, uh, lakefront kind of boating area. And this is the perfect place to come grab a quick bite um, or a long bite uh, after you know kind of your day on the water so you definitely definitely need to check it out mine doing the belt there we go Woo. a little bit extra horsepower there yeah like I said very delicious but keep tracking through these hot dogs sweet heat pineapple jam and like a pepper chutney the area is called R red Rough River Lake, Rough River Lake, um, which is kind of ironic because it's Rough River Lake, River and Lake. So anyway, but um, the whole area here was absolutely stunning. It was beautiful. If you're in Louisville or anywhere in that Kentucky area, um, go check it out. It's well worth a drive. Um, I'd say, you know, even it's, it's well worth a couple hour drive, not even going to lie. And if you're going to see Mammoth Cave by chance, it's definitely not far. Um, so well worth the drive. It's a beautiful area. Um, it's a summer like tourist kind of again water boating area and uh, here they have great food. So with that everyone, I believe that's pretty much all the information. Um, like I said, very delicious challenge. Hopefully we'll be able to complete this one. Um, it was undefeated prior to our attempt. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to, well, I mean we already technically complete the one version, but let's see if we can complete the uh, second challenge. And uh, at that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. So I'm guessing we're maybe like 11 and a half, something minutes in. Yeah, very fantastic. These are the BLT dogs. They have their like white, uh, house-made white barbecue sauce on it. Which is smoked onions in it. Like, just fantastic. Like, I, anything smoked, you know I love. And also, it's a bacon wrapped hot dog. Yes, that is the thing. Thankfully. <clears throat> Excuse me. Woo! The soda is doing its, doing its work. Excuse me. Burps are allowed in the soda shop, right? It means compliments to the soda jerk, the soda maker. <laughs> All right, just over 14 ish minutes in. Dessert and barbecue tops with more of their pulled pork, which is very good. And they make their own barbecue sauce here. I don't know if I mentioned that, but this is one of them right here. Mm. I like it. Really nice, kind of like red style sauce.
birds are randish on child, leave no doubt. All right. About 16 and a half minutes. On to our final desserts here. Like I said, never tried deep fried Oreo. Definitely gotta try it, guys. Sweet, savory. Really makes the Oreo really soft. I love funnel cakes. We got a funnel cake here. I got some caramel sauce on it. And then the deep fried banana is delicious. Makes it really soft. A little sweet. A little rich. Let's be honest, anything deep fried is, is pretty bad. <laughs> Five seconds roughly. Oh, whoo! That was honestly so damn good. Too damn good. All right. I love dessert, and I was so thankful to be able to close off with dessert. Like I said, those deep fried Oreos are just like they're so cool. I've never tried them before. I have to like I can't even just applaud. Like words cannot describe how fantastic a handmade hot dog is. It's beef. It's a little bit of pork in there, and it's just smoked. Like the smoker is rolling right now. <laughs> Woo! Compliments to the chef. Seriously, it is just like, it is so delicious. It's really nice texture to it. It's not like a heavy smoke as if you're eating barbecue, but it's just such a nice light touch. So definitely a hot dog like I've never had before. And I will say, this was a really cool challenge. Not only again, this is an ode to uh, George himself, but it's just like, it's well thought out. They're very honest here. They weighed everything, like all the uh, the sides, like the fries or the tots, and uh, that's about it. I, I can't say enough. It's very delicious, very fantastic. So huge thanks to Porges for having us out. Uh, if you're ever in the area, McDaniel's definitely stop on by. You're going to the lake. Beautiful place to come grab a hot dog. You know, come maybe come grab a soda per se, all handmade. Maybe you want to try the challenge. Maybe not twice. Nobody needs to eat that much. Trust me, nobody on earth needs to. But like I said, they're making their own sauces. They're making pretty much everything. Ooh, that's good. Pepper. You can even drink it. I approve. But uh, that everybody for having a good meal for free, which is pretty cool. I believe we also get a t-shirt, if I'm not mistaken. A sweet t-shirt. And a photo on the wall of fame. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, say happy, really hungry, happy eating. That's about it. It was fantastic. I have no more words. Hot dogs are a treat. I don't eat them that often. And I've never had hot dogs like that before. I've been around quite a lot in North America, and I have never, ever, ever seen a handmade hot dog. So until next time, everybody, say happy, hungry, happy eating. I'll show you the t-shirts that we got them somewhere. And with that, until next time, happy eating. And here we have our sweet t-shirt, Forgy's Hot Dog and Soda Shop. On the back, eight specialty hot dogs, one pound loaded fries, dessert sampler, and a retro soda. Georgie Porgy challenge winner. Yeah. <laughs> and we are officially downtown Louisville. I heard some people do call it Louisville. We just went over the great big uh, kind of yellowish bridge, which I know is very well distinct and known for in Louisville. We passed what was the um, KFC Yum Center. I imagine some kind of sports play there. Yeah, we're officially in Kentucky, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited, Kentucky. All right, so in Kentucky, uh, my first impressions in Kentucky are that it's freaking awesome. So I go by a Kroger, they're out like grilling ribs and the lady yells and I quote, and I'm gonna try to, you know, uh, do the best impersonation as I can. She goes, baby back ribs, not, not, not a slab. And I'm just like, damn, that is awesome. Amazing! It made my heart leap. I was like, this is not Canada. This is not the North. I freaking love it. I was, I'm so excited. I am, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like, that literally excited me. I was ecstatic. Uh, then I went in 
And okay, diet Mountain Dew caffeine free is not a thing in 90% of the world, 95, maybe 98% of the world. The only time I've ever, ever, ever seen it in my life was once in Indiana in like 2019. And now for my second time here in Kentucky, the stuff is rare. So I'm like, I didn't buy any this time. They only had like the 12 pack case and I wanted the, the a two liter bottle. But anyway, to make a long story short, so far Kentucky is freaking awesome. So I'm super excited, I'm pumped. And uh, let's go see some more of it. I mean, and all I really saw is so far is a Kroger and a minute of Louisville. Uh, but yeah, so heading down um, south of Louisville to McDaniels. But yeah, already I am like, I'm pumped. Kentucky rocks, and oh, and it is very beautiful so far. Any of like the green I've seen or the the scapes, um, been very very nice. So Kentucky, <laughs> I, I love it. And here is some of the beautiful Kentucky countryside. We had a big like ridge. Like all oh, you can see here, they obviously did some blasting. I'm assuming to carve this road out. And then beautiful trees, beautiful, beautiful greenery. Yeah, like I said, Kentucky is very beautiful. And while I was here, I had to come take a quick dip in the Rough River Lake. That's the name of Rough River Lake. I knew it was Rough River something, but Rough River Lake, which is so gorgeous this evening. Just like, it's so splendid. The water is so warm. I guess uh, this is like actually part of a dam. And then, you know, in the winter they uh, release the dam and this like basically uh, shallows out. But anyway, gorgeous, really nice quick dip. And uh, thank you, McDaniels, Kentucky. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.